Polymers are just very large molecules. Poly means many, mer means bit, many bits joined together to make a large molecule. We think about molecules we're familiar with, things like salt, sodium chloride, that's two atoms, one sodium, one chlorine joined together, or water, H2O, two hydrogens, and one oxygen joined together. These are what I call a small molecule. In a polymer, you've got thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of atoms joined together to make up the big, big, big molecule. So you can imagine a polymer having lots and lots and lots and lots of atoms or groups of atoms joined together. And in fact, normally, they are joined together in chains. So a great long chain, which gets so long that really it becomes a line or a string. And the physicists think of polymers as strings like that. And a polymer like this might not be arranged like that. It might be arranged randomly like that. Another one beside it might be arranged somehow like this, entangled with it. Or you might have them aligned somehow like this if you're lucky. So you get different alignments of molecules, different arrangements, different properties. And what polymer physicists like myself do is try and understand what drives them to have different shapes and what the effects of those shapes are on the properties. So how can you make polymeric or plastic materials with different sh properties? And that's where most polymer physicists end up working in the plastics industry, working with big chemical companies or polymer processors, plastics processors, to make the materials that we use in our everyday lives.